Hello again in this video clip series, My Journey to God in a Very Secularized World. In this video clip, we'll finish up the second meditation of Father Laurent Laroque in his meditation that you can find on the internet with the title, The Progressive Pro Protest Protestantization of the Catholic Mass. And so he continues here, he says, Let us only look out for that the fulfillment of the mystery of the Antichrist will not be as something coarse or very obvious. It is done gradually, with subtle changes in the way to respect less and less the mystery of the Eucharist, in a subtle way, but that Mary helped us over the years to grasp. It is a progressive desecration that has entered the Holy Temple of God, as we say in our act of consecration, which has touched so many of our brother priests, and that we too have here and there been often disrupted, but before which we remain, thanks to this our consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Faithful and strong and joyful resistance fighters in the true faith and in true liturgy, without attaching ourselves to secondary things of liturgical sensibility, in order to focus on what is essential. Jesus, truly present in his sacrifice on our altars, acting in us, his priests, and his person, to be able to say through our voice, this is my body given, this is my blood shed. Even if we have to adopt, adapt our lives totally to the mystery we celebrate, as we promised on the day of our ordination. And, and then again he quotes Our Lady of July 1378. Our Lady says, You are being called more and more to become the apostles and new martyrs of Jesus present in the Eucharist. Then, and then he continues, Then we are afraid, because this terrible moment will not last long. Three and a half years, says the scriptures which Mary tells us to take literally in this message of December 3192. Then let us not fear, because Mary tells us that the more times will become decisive, strong, tough, dark, the more she will be present, even in an extraordinary way, to show us the way. Here's in a message of Our Lady here. Our Lady says, My light will become stronger and stronger, the more you enter into the decisive moments of the battle. In the end, the victory will be that of your Immaculate Mother, who with her virginal foot, formed from the heel, which is, is us, you form my heel, that is, the weakest and most fragile part of me. That was June 28, 89. And then she also, then she also says, This will crush the head of the serpent, and with her hands, will bind the great dragon, that he may thus be rendered powerless and no longer be able to do harm in the world. Message of December 893. And then he says, in the meantime, what must we do? And he quotes this message from a lady. And since this is the hour of our your purification, it is above all the hour of your suffering. Could it perhaps be this that you fear? But what if the Father has called you now, one by one, from all eternity for this hour? And what if your Heavenly Mother has long since chosen you and prepared you for this hour? Live then in serenity of spirit and without fear, even, even in the midst of the anxieties and threats of your time. And so I say again, do not be always peering into the future to see what is going to happen. Live only the present moment with trust and complete abandonment in this heart of mine. Message December 4th, 76. And so then he, uh, he concludes here and he says, Trust, prayer, suffering, offering, silence, waiting, adoring the Eucharistic glorification of Jesus in his robe, his presence, his real presence, which will leave us all full of heavenly awe and amazement 
of this permanent and visible miracle visible to everyone, to the point of renewing the structures of the world, forming a new heaven and a new earth. <coughs> and here, uh, Father Laurent Laroque finishes. I would like just to add a little bit here. He, I think he explained these things very well in his two meditations, you know. But I'd like to caution me and all of us of the great danger of losing humility without realizing it. And when you do that, you, 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 uh, there, there's a spiritual blindness. What I'm saying here is that, that you remember those video clips that I wrote before about this Father Laurent Laroc, who, who put, a, he went against what Our Lady said to make uh, the, the statute, statutes, and then he was the first one to be elected, the new superior after the death of, of Don Cephal Gobi, and uh, and I, I just wanted to repeat what you know what uh, give, give an idea what can happen here, and this is a, a danger for any one of us. He what I was saying here that when I, I took I printed the letter of Padre Quartilio when he says this is a mistake you know you can find that in the other video clips and I printed that and I began to give it at the uh, the Senecals in, uh, in, in, in 2017 in June and uh, Mama Mia after the Mass in the sacristy this Father Laurent Laroque he treated me terrible just terrible I mean just hit me with everything in the world and after he hits like crazy he, he runs off. He doesn't, no dialogue. He just runs in and hits, he just criticizes the heck out of you, and then he runs away, and then he sends another person, a layman, to do the same to me, and after he's done, he runs away. I mean, there's no humility here. I mean, why can't we dialogue? You know, it, like, like it was mentioned in the letter, it's, it's, it's prohibited, even now today, after they took over the movement, these guys, to, to talk about the truth of the real, what's really going on in the, in the church. Of the many bad fruits that are coming out of the Vatican in the last more than 10 years. It's prohibited. If you say that, you're not, they'll say, you're not in the movement. Get out of here. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm just saying this all to, to say that this could happen to anybody, to me, to anybody. We've got to maintain humility. That means, and one of the basics of humility is to be, be able to be willing to dialogue with someone who's not in agreement with me. You know, if I think the, the truth is, it comes, if I think the truth comes to God, I have a little humility, and you say, you made a mistake, Father Joe, I thought, let's talk. But instead, if I don't have that humility, I'll do as what Father Laurent Laroc would do, and also what Bergoglio does, who does not talk to any cardinal or bishop who's not in agreement with him, as if the truth comes from him instead of from God. And, and as I quoted in several places in the other video clips, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Augustine praised St. Saint Peter who had the humility to listen to St. Paul even publicly that says, Peter, you've made a mistake here. We've got to let the, the, the non-Jews into the church. And he had the humility to listen and then finally understood that Paul was right and approve it. You know, it's interesting and then Minotella does the same thing. He, Minotella, Father Mino, Alexander Minotella, who has many followers here in Italy, uh, who's, who attacks Pope Francis uh, continually, he's not willing to listen to anybody, even to the point that recently it got to the point that uh, he says the, the, the small remnant that will remain is only in our group. No one else, just us. And, but the Our Lady works in the whole world. The, her remnant is everywhere. So what, what, what I'm saying here, it's interesting how the two extremes meet. Bergoglio does not talk to anyone not in agreement with himself, but Minotella, who's against Bergoglio, does not talk to anyone who's not in agreement with him. The two extremes meet. As St. Thomas Aquinas said, the, the, uh, the, the virtue is found between the two extremes, and it's difficult to maintain that prudence in the middle, and you suffer a lot. But I just wanted to say that I'm really sad that this Father Laurent Laroc, who's so intelligent from France and all these things, he, 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 he absolutely, it, I, I want to just add one other thing here, interesting, that uh, that uh, Father Quartini, when I talked to him for a while, a couple, several years ago, he told me that when he talked to Father Laroc, Father Laroc told him that in his little, a little group of religious in 
France, a little, some little group. He said his superior told him that when you become superior, you don't have to dialogue with anyone. You just make the law and you don't have to talk to anyone. <laughs> and I even said to F uh, Father Cortinio, it says, it seems that in the church today, it's very, it, almost no one wants to dialogue. And he says, yeah, that's the way it is today. So, anyway, I just wanted to end up with saying that, that this could happen to anybody and any of us. So we've got to really, the, the, the Blue Book continually repeats, humility remains small and total, total trust in our Blessed Lady, not in ourselves. May God bless you and Mary guide you.